In this video I will show you how to install and set, uh, set up your QGIS uh, program. Go to QGIS.org, press download now and choose which system you will, your computer will require. There will be both for Mac, Linux and PCs. Choose the 32 or 64 bit for which version you are going to use. After installing the program, you will find a folder where you open and you can see different icons. The one you use to open the QGIS desktop is QGIS desktop and the version number. When you open the, your, your QGIS desktop, we are going to have some settings first. Um, you're going to use the coordinate reference systems and a few other things. Click settings and choose options. Here you have different tab tabs and we're going to choose the canvas and legend first. Here you can see the selection color. If you have items, features, there's point lines and areas, polygons, they, if you select them, they will be yellow. Here I click on the yellow color, go to the opacity and set it to about 50%. Press OK. I go to the digitizing. Here I will be setting the snapping options to 5 pixels and the search radius for 5 pixels. This is for digitizing so, so the mouse will snap into vertices and vertices and to segments. You're going to take on this show marker for only for selected features. Otherwise your map will be filled with red crosses when you open and toggle edit for your for your layer. <coughs> Now we're going to the coordinate reference system, which is the most important. I'm going to choose enable on the flyer reprojection. So if you open data with two different projections, it will now change to the, the projection you want. Right now it's in longitude latitude WGS84. I'm going to change it to UT, UTM32 North. I click this button here and I write 25832 which is the EPSG code for UTM zone 32 north. This is for Denmark so if you I'm going to work with data from another country find out which EPSG code you're going to use. Secondly the coordinate reference system for new layers if you're going to work with data with different, uh, different kind of coordinate reference systems, you're going to prompt for the CRFs. If you are not going to use different coordinate reference systems, use a specific and choose 25832. I do recommend you to be prompted for the CRFs before you ask for for creating a new layer. If you're going to change the, the language, you can press local and choose the system you would like to use. Press OK and restart your program and the data and the setting will be updated. 